Today, we'll view how the functions activity works inside of data pipelines. First, we'll need to make a user data function artifact. We'll use the preset Hello Fabric function that takes in a parameter of name. This function will display a welcome message with the name parameter and current time. Let's publish it so that we can use the function in our data pipeline. Now let's create a data pipeline with a functions activity. We'll do this by navigating to pipeline activities and adding in functions. In settings, we'll leave the default type set to fabric user data functions, and then we'll find our user data function artifact alongside our function. In the case of our hello fabric function, we have a parameter input name, so I'll input my name here as the value. Now let's save and run our pipeline. We can confirm that our input value has the string value we set in our parameters in the settings of the functions activity. Let's also confirm that our output displays a welcome message with my name and also the current time. This aligns with our function we published in our user data function artifact. Thanks for watching today's demo on using the functions activity in data pipelines.